Members of EOS slash IPOP Nigeria confess that Prime Minister Mazi Simon Epa is in charge of the struggle. Here are the news in details. Wonderful people of the Afro lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome once again to the Afro Unite channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 24th of March 2024, and I have a video for you. Dear friends and lovers of freedom, I want you to pay very good attention to this very news. Because it's very, very important, I can assure you, my people, that time has finally come. Lamentation moment. The time we told them that they will cry has finally arrived. I will not waste my time talking about this Nikon poop, because it doesn't worth it. If I stoop so low to talk about somebody that cannot even see my back, that would be a shameful thing to me. But I'm going to do this just in a few minutes. I will do it only for you, Biafrans, listening to me right now. That is number one. For you, Biafrans, listening to me. I want to bring this to your notice. Secondly, I will also talk about it because the Prime Minister Mazi Samanekpa himself has talked about it. He said something about it, which I will be showing you in a jiffy after playing the video. But what I cannot do is for me to bring the video and start analyzing it, play the video, pause it and analyze it. No, he doesn't want it because we warned them. We told them from the beginning, I am the first person that spoke to this boy, not in person. I didn't call him. I've never called him on phone. I've never spoken to him on phone before, but I addressed him on a live broadcast. And I warned him, I told him to the nonsense he's, he was doing then, back then in 2021, but he never listened to me. He stopped for, for a few days and then he continued. Today, he is crying and lamenting in the public. So, like I said before, I will not bring the video to start analyzing it. I will just play the video for you to listen and hear what he said. After that, I will show you what the Prime Minister said about it and then we will call it a day because we are too busy to talk about ignorant stupid and uh, confused set of you know uh, uh, illiterates that claim to be freedom fighters in ipob so pay attention while you watch the video before i say what i want to say and then show you the comment of the prime minister the council there's no two ways about you know i say things the way it is as it stands now a lawyer is the lead council of mass in America. There's not ways about it. We don't have to lie. After a lawyer Jim Akon take over with the lies and deceit from propaganda, they have already go to mass in America and begin to lie to him. Simon never have been taken over. And he wrote it on his Twitter handle. But some of them come to attack him. I mean, because sometimes he will do something, they won't want him to come and claim it. But being who he is, he will claim it. It does not matter what you said, he will come and claim it. Let me see if I have that uh, the the right up of Simon Eber and see how they were attacking him. But I will prove to you people that Simon Eber is in charge. That's not always about it. And I will tell you people that Aloy Jimako know exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. And a lawyer, Jim Akko, can never condemn Simon Eber. He can never. And I'm going to prove it. And in Nemeka, they've no know what. Nemeka has no idea what is going on. That is why you see in Nemeka, Baristan Nemeka, he's trying to push Mazin Nam the Kano to say some certain things. When you are talking about this complicit Mazin Nam the Kano is talking about, that the governors are in complicit of, I mean, benefiting. Getting money from the insecurity in Biafra land. There are some people working with them, isn't it? Now, like as I said from beginning, I do not have time to start analyzing the Okoko because I cannot devote time to talk about somebody that is under me, Onion Kamma, Onion Kalele by far. So, but I want to show you what the Prime Minister said about him and the video that I just played for you a couple of minutes ago. After that, there is one thing he said concerning one of Mazin Abdekano's lawyer. That is what I want to talk about. And I will not just talk about it, but I will show you an evidence of what happened in the past so that you will use your tongue 
and count your teeth how these people have lied against Mazinam de Kano, against Biafra, and sabotage our freedom. Now pay attention. According to the Prime Minister who tweeted this on his official X handle, this is what he said. I am posting his video finally with love emoji. He made it to our X page on late night because he addressed me by name and not a man as usual with another laugh emoji his head and brain is getting reset please tell him that it is too early to cry like this he should save some cry for when mnk will come out for when mnk will come out he should save his cry for when mnk will be released these were the words of the Prime Minister Mazi Simonekwa concerning the video that the Okoko made. And the only word I have for the Okoko is to tell him, look, if you know that you are tired of the fraud called DOS, if you know that you are truly tired, if you know that it is time for you to tell your friends that you are sorry, if you believe that the time has come for you to tell Biafrans you are sorry, come out and say it in public and stop running around and beating about the bush. Now, Biafrans, he said something about Barista Nemeke Jofo, who happens to be one of the lawyers of Mazin Amdekan. He said that Nemeka does not know what is going on, and I'm here to prove him and the entire DOS Mpurumini Nigeria IPOB wrong. This very memo was made available to the public. In December 2022, we all saw it, but some did not pay attention to it. And it was made directly from Mazin Amdekan on the 15th of december 2022 look at the date here i want you to follow the mouse because i want to utilize only about three minutes to do something very very important at least to debunk the lie he lied against barisan nemeke jofo though i have had my issues with barisan nemeke jofo in the past but as you all know in this very you know quest for freedom we do not have permanent enemy and we do not have permanent friend we follow you according to how you come this is official from Barista Nemeke Jofo and Associates. This very memo was not given to us directly. It was sent to DOS. And the, the next person that received this memo directly from Nemeke Jofo was Kanon Takano and his younger brother, Prince Meme Kano. It was sent to Chike Dozieha, Kanon Takano, and Prince Meme Kano from Nemeke Jofo, one of the barristers of Mazinam de Kano. Now, if you go down to read what is written here, this memo on instructions and directives of Mazinam de Kano. Memo on instructions and directives of Mazinam de Kano. The number one on this memo is to DOS, which is DOS is forbidden from responding to Simon Ekma no matter what. DOS is forbidden from responding to Simon Ekma no matter what. While number two is DOS should never double into the finances of the family, of IPOB family. While number three is all sacked national coordinators appointed by MNK himself must be reinstated with immediate effect. If you go down here, you see a lot of instructions from number one to number 13. We have this memo. We have it. We have the memo. So now, the idiot saying that uh, Nemeke Jofo does not know what is going on. How dare you say that? When you see that the memo instructed DOS not to, or should I say forbidding DOS not to respond to or to talk about Mazi Samonekwa no matter what. They were instructed not to insult, castigate, talk about anything that has to do with Mazi Samonekwa just 
remove yourself from him and allow him to do what he's doing. Mazenam Dekano said it. Look at it here. I didn't write this memo. It was directly from Baristan Nemeke Joffo, who is still till today one of the Baristans of Mazenam Dekano, defending him in the zoo law court. So if he says or if he thinks that I'm lying, the broadcast that I'm making right now is public. So I'm very certain, 100% sure, that Baristan Nemeke Joffo is going to see it. So if he say, if he thinks that I'm lying, that this memo is not from him, he should come out and debunk it. <laughs> you understand? And the Okoko is somewhere, one of Simon Ekpa in Germany, who normally borrow money from his wife to buy chair and uh, red cap to dress like Simon Ekpa, one of Simon Ekpa in Germany, says that the man who brought this memo doesn't know what is going on in the struggle. Shame. What a shame. What a shame. So my people, just like as I said before, I do not have time to address the idiot because he doesn't want it. I cannot be addressing somebody who is below me. The point here is that the DOS members have now come out to confess that Simon Ekpa is in charge. And that is the reality. We all know this. We know it from beginning. Since 2021, Mazenam Dekan was kidnapped and renditioned to the zoo. We know it. We know that Mazen Simon Ekpa is in charge. And they know. They knew from beginning. It's just that they never wanted to admit it. They never wanted to admit it. And they never wanted the public, who are still somehow skeptical about the whole of affairs of IPOB, to know that Mazen Simon Ekpa is in charge. But we all know. And he is going to be in charge and lead us to Biafra. And of course, the release of Mazin and the Kanu. Thank you, my people. To Salonomozia. And make it go viral.